guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video and that is my hair care routine. And we're actually doing kind of two videos in one because I'm also gonna be showing you at the end how I curl my hair. A lot of you guys ask like, what do you do with your hair? How do you curl it? Those are two questions that I get asked a lot. And I have a little routine that I've been doing recently and I have figured out how I like curling my hair. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. I'm not a hair specialist at all, but this is what I have found that I really like doing with my hair. So hopefully you guys can learn something from it. Just some things to know. I get questions about if I get my hair dyed, if I color it or do anything to it. And the answer is no, I've never colored my hair ever. This is my natural color. Second of all is, do I put heat on my hair? And yes. I try to not put heat on my hair as much as possible, but the truthful answer is yes. I I put heat on my hair. I wish I didn't as much, but I just do not like my natural hair. If I'm just going around the house and stuff, then of course, like, I don't need to use heat on my hair, but if I'm, like, filming or if I really am, like, going to school or something and I want my hair to look better, I'm gonna put heat on my hair. Ugh, my camera's dying. So now I've never colored my hair, and yes, I do use heat on it. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get to kind of the products I use and what I use in the shower and basically just, like, what I use on my hair every day. So the products I use in the shower, my shampoo and conditioner, <laughs> is this Nexus. I'm not even- Diametris? Is that even, like, a thing? Like, is that- I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's like a weightless volume shampoo and conditioner, protein fusion with elastin protein and green tea extract. There's no silicone in here, which I know that's good. This is just a really good shampoo and conditioner that makes my hair really soft. But yeah, they're in this little green bottle and my mom picked it out for me. So good job, mom. As far as hair masks go, I don't use them often anymore. I used to use them more often, but this is just kind of my go-to if I use one because this is just something that I have. If I were to use a hair mask, it'd probably Probably just be like once a week no more than that really anymore because I've noticed that if I use hair masks too often my hair can start feeling a little heavy and I just know that it's adding buildup to my hair that I just don't need this is the chi rosehip oil color nurture recovery treatment and even though I don't color my hair it's also just good for reducing dryness and breakage while restoring hair's manageability. So, so it's really just like a deep conditioning one. So I'll use this if my hair starts to feel really dry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mention these. Even though I don't use them super often anymore, I will sometimes use these when I get out of the shower as I'm like brushing my hair, especially after like a lake day where my hair is like it's really tangly. But these are just Briogeo, Briogeo. I have no idea how to pronounce it. They are just these little leave-in conditioners and masks. This one is the Roscaro Milk. I cannot pronounce anything, but it's a reparative leave-in conditioning spray, and I just think these smell so good. And then the other one that I use is the, the Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. I really just go between the two doesn't really matter which one I use, they both kind of do the same thing. The next category is dry shampoo and there's only one thing in this category because this is the only one that I buy because it is cheap. It kind of just does the job for as much as I use it. I do wash my hair every day. I know that it's not good, but it is what works for me because if I don't wash my hair every day, then I just feel not clean, I guess, and I just feel like my hair looks really greasy and i know there's a way that you can like train your hair but i just have not been able to put up with it because i don't have a dry shampoo that like works amazingly to where i just can't wash my hair every day but this is one i use for when i do use dry shampoo this is the not your mother's clean freak dry shampoo it's just like a refreshing one i think it's only like three dollars so this is just what i use because i don't need a super powerful dry shampoo and then another thing i wanted to show you before i get into how i curl my hair because there's other products in that whole segment is the straightener that i use for when i straighten my hair this one i've been using for a while now and it's actually by the brand duval which my last name is duval just not spelled the same so it's kind of funny i don't even know what the name of it is you know it's fine and you can probably find it easily on their website if i can find it i will link it down below it goes from 270 degrees to 450 so a very wide range i usually go to like 410 and i do use a heat protectant but that will be mentioned when i curl my hair that's really 
my hair care routine. So now I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. Okay, so this is a question that I get asked all the time and it is, how do you curl your hair? It's nothing fancy at all, but everyone just curls their hair very differently. So this is the simplest way <laughs> to probably curl your hair ever. I really like when my hair is curled. It just makes myself look more put together and honestly it just looks best in pictures. Okay, so here's just like some key products that I use before I actually get started. I'll explain like when I use them and how I use them when I get to it, but this is just what I use. The most asked question is what curling wand do you use? And so this is the Numi one inch curling wand. I like the ones without the clamp because the clamp ones are honestly much harder to use in my opinion, but some people prefer those. I think the one inch just creates more natural curls nothing too tight because i'm not trying to look like what i looked like in sixth grade once i curl my hair mm, tragic this one actually came with a lot more like tips that you can put on it so you can take it off and replace it with like a smaller one bigger one there's like all types of different wands you can put on this the heat protectant that i use it's the one i've had for a while now it's the chi 44 iron guard i've been using this for a while and i hope it works good but i like to put it on just to help with knowing that my hair is hopefully not getting as fried as if i were to use no heat protectant and then i use hairspray and this is just the kenra perfect medium spray medium hold hairspray i don't like my hair to be crunchy but i like it to last so this is just what I use for like the final touches you don't have to do this stuff I use this sexy hair big fun razor it's just a volumizing dry texture spray I also use the big sexy hair powder play you'll see like what it is once we get to it but it just basically gives your hair more volume kind of a new step that I've been doing but it does help with making it look more natural and voluminous so let me just plug this in okay so if you're wanting to get this basically all you do is when you plug it in, you'll just have to hold it down and then you'll see that it's heating up. So I like to set mine to like 390. I don't like to go like above 400. I just don't ever see the need to. So in case you're wondering the brush that I use, it's just a wet brush. The back of it says make it happen. <laughs> All I do to section it off, I don't actually section it off by doing anything crazy. I don't do layers anymore. Used to back in sixth grade when I used like a smaller wand and everything, I would do like three layers and just like do ringlet curls, not a good idea. I don't recommend. So I just section it off in half. So half my hair is on one side and then the other half is on the other. Honestly, when I'm not explaining this, this goes by really fast. I take pretty big sections because the smaller the sections, the more like tighter and smaller the curls are gonna be, if that makes any sense. So this is just how I do it to make it look the most natural. Oh my goodness, I did not put heat protectant in my hair. So I start just with the back and work my way forward. On one side of my head, I'll curl one way, and on the other side, I'll curl the other way. So either way, you curl away from your face. So I just wrap it around. I do nothing special. Like, I don't really leave much out at the end either. Like, I don't really do that. And then I'll just leave it on until I think that it's gonna come out to be a curl. Again, not looking for a ringlet curl, just kind of like... Okay, that, that didn't do its justice. That doesn't show you what they are supposed to look like. Just trust the process. Like, not every curl has to be perfect. Like, that's not what we're going for. Okay, see what I mean? Okay, so I'm just gonna do a few more and kind of show you what I'm talking about. But yeah, just wrap it around normally. Just completely normal. <laughs> Okay, when I have just kind of the front section left, I like to do it a certain way. So I'll start with kind of the bottom of this little section. It makes a lot of sense in my head. So hopefully you guys are understanding. Okay, so then when I have like the front square left, I just divide it into like two. So I'll do like that. And if you have a smaller piece, you're gonna wanna put on less time so it's not a ringlet. And then the most important part is your front piece. So make sure that one kinda like looks the best cause that's like what's gonna frame your face. Okay, so then it looks like this. I'm just gonna put some hairspray in it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it to the other side and then you'll see what I do after that because obviously I don't want it to look like this. Okay, this side is done now, and I just need to hairspray it. Now, don't like how my hair looks after that. So, now I'm gonna flip my hair a few times. <laughs> okay. That just kind of gives it a little bit more volume after we hairspray it. I don't know, these front pieces aren't exactly how I want them, but it's honestly gonna be fine because it'll kind of like fall out a little bit. Then my hair just doesn't have that much volume up top. So that's where these two products come into play. I actually got these off of Oxily, so they did send them to me, not sponsored at all, but I really like how these work. So basically this is just the volumizing dry texture spray. So I'll find some areas that I just want more volume in. And then I'll just do that. And then you're able to just like give a little bit more volume to it. And then another product that kind of does the same thing is the volumizing and texturing powder. So it kind of just like makes your hair feel a little bit dirtier. So if you had just like washed your hair and you need it to feel more texturized, this is basically if your hair is like clean, but you need to go out and like you need your hair to have more texture. Like it's just some hairstyles are easier for when your hair is dirty so this doesn't make your hair dirty but it basically just adds more texture so you can play around with it more without it just like falling out you know what i mean this is just like another thing that will give you more volume and it's basically just like a white powder and you just work that into your hair and then your hair will just be a lot easier to work with and also have more volume my aunt she loves this product and uses it all the time great honestly if you have thinner hair too her hair is um a lot thinner than mine and so then she's just able to do more hairstyles with making her hair look more full i guess you know what i mean so this is the final look obviously you know what it looks like because that's how i've been wearing my hair the whole video but um i hope that answered a lot of your guys's questions anyway back to other Ashlyn. <laughs> okay, so that's really it for my hair care routine. Again, nothing too special, but this video has been really highly requested. So I hope you guys learned something from it. Thank you guys so much for watching in this video. If you have any good hair care products that you recommend or products that I should switch out, then let me know because I'm always open to finding new products and seeing how they work with me. But I do really like what I've been using. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Happy fall, by the way. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!